It's your boy Zay P. Zay P to I am. I am that I am as you are that you are for we are all that we are. From the, if, from the individual to the many, from the many to the all, for the all is one. And I'm here back to drop another video on y'all today. Today I want to talk about the idea of um, self-intimacy. Now, this is not an idea that's talked about a lot in the culture. There's not a lot. Even if you're looking around self-help stuff and all of this, this and that, working on shadow stuff, people don't talk too much about self-intimacy. Self-intimacy. So I've been working with my guides recently, and especially today they came through with some uh, really valuable lessons and some nice-sized nuggets, food for thought, so to speak, that I had to share with y'all because the truth of the matter is, as I learn these lessons and incorporate them in my life, um, and I see the growth and the ripple effects to others all around me, it wouldn't be worth anything if I couldn't share that information and that knowledge that others can benefit. So, um, a lot of us out here, we, we have too much issues with doing, um, with being alone. Too many of us are looking around. We're looking around at other people. We're looking around for insight, for uh, validation. We're, we're looking around. We're looking around for community. Now, the idea that we're looking around for community as social creatures that humans are is not a bad one. But it is. it becomes a fallacy when we begin looking around so much for community that community can give us all these other things. Like I said, validation, affirmation, that can, community can create our sense of self for us individually. That's when it becomes kind of a fallacy. The, 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 the thing we want to keep in mind is that we have to be okay being ourselves, being with ourselves, being able to go long periods of time or not even long periods of time. It could be short periods of time just to ourselves. Like how many of us are out here that can handle the silence? Like we're at a point, especially culturally and societally, where we got technology, mobile phones, tablets, computers, everywhere you turn. You never have to walk away from a screen if you don't want to. Uh, besides that, then you have all this, the regular stimuli of the outside world. You have so much bombardment of other energies, of other stimuli, of other variables in your space, in your head space, in your actual auric field, in your actual space, the space that we create, your own freaking reality. You have so much other external stimuli, you don't really get to know that which you are. You don't really get to understand what it is in your frequency that you need to maintain, that you need to have the experience that you want, right? You get bombarded that you need to do this, you need to do that. You're always distracting yourself because you'd rather not deal with what's happening within, right? Like, you'd rather not deal with those negative thoughts that keep popping up every once in a while. Or... You know, you get conditioned to the idea that if you're not doing something, then you're wasting time or you're bored or you're not somehow not cultivating and developing yourself. So you do all of that. So you, you throw yourself into everything else and all these external, external stimuli that you lose track of yourselves. This is a lot of what I've been talking about lately with that relationship of self, like the self-care, the self-love, um, the I am. That aspect is simply because for all the great things you want in your life, you have to start by giving it to yourself. Now, the idea of self-intimacy is that you cannot really understand the great things that you truly want until you are okay being alone with just you. All the things that you want, all the things you want to express, all the things you want to create, all the things you want to attract... It all comes from your frequency. It all comes from your unique, authentic perspective. So when we don't take the time to just be with ourselves, to allow the thoughts to come and go, to allow the feelings to rise and ebb and flow. Feelings are emotional, right? Thoughts are more masculine, right? Okay, so, you know, you feel the feelings. You think the thoughts. The fact of the matter is you don't really think the thoughts. The thoughts come to you. The thoughts are not yours alone. The thoughts are from the, the field. That said, you 
you feel the feelings, you think the thoughts that come to you for a reason, that are attracted or resonating with your vibration, that are meant for you to learn, to, for you to develop, for you to share. So without fact, taking that time, you'll never be able to access that information. You'll never be able to access that side of yourself. You'll never be able to access the true understanding of who you are, what feeds you, what feeds your soul, right? Sure, you can get to a certain level uh, collating and going along with everybody else, with the community overall. But at a certain point, if you decide to excel past that level, if you decide to really excel into a life that truly reflects you, you got to get okay with being with yourself. And that means being okay with dealing with the quote-unquote negative. You know, that side of the polarity. Because a lot of times, a lot of us, especially those in the spiritual fields and all that, we get um, stigmatized by the idea that everybody is woo-woo and just, oh, you know, happy side of life. The fact of the matter is, there's a lot of shadow work being done. There's a lot of deep diving spiritual work being done. If you're serious about your business, if you're serious about yourself, you got to do that stuff. So with that said, you got to be okay to spend time alone and to experience the negative along with the positive. You got to be okay with feeling those pains and allowing those memories to surface if they have to. And allowing yourself to purge that or allowing yourself to go through that experience. Because when we lock it away or when we run from it, that shit is just stuck, buried somewhere in ourselves. And you can't run for yourself from ever. So that said, you got to be okay with doing that. You also have to be okay with being naked with yourself, being vulnerable with yourself. How many people out here feel weird or awkward to see themselves naked? In your most primal but beautiful, just aesthetic shape. Society's conditioned as, oh, too fat or this and that. And, you know, this is not cute or this is not attractive or this is not sexy. And so we walk around judging ourselves. And then a lot of us get all these fucked up issues. Instead of being able to look in in the mirror and be like, okay, I can deal with that. Or better yet, I like that. I like myself. I got this Pierre Louis Betty. Runs through, it runs through my family, the Haitian part of my family. A lot of us, we get these little pot bellies. They just come. It comes natural. I'm being vulnerable. I'm expressing. I'm sharing. Long time, I judge myself. Why do I have this fucking gut? Nobody likes belly. Nobody blah, blah, blah. With that, I just brought more of it to me, right? It went ballooned out of control at times. Bring that shit in. The shit finally gets under control when I, when I start to accept it. When I start to say, yo, it's okay. You're good. You're beautiful. You're dope as fuck, Zay. Chill. Relax. Don't matter about the belly. It don't matter about the belly. None of this matters. So be with okay with who you truly are. With that authentic, unique essence of yourself. Start there. That's the self-intimacy. Get to know that aspect. And as you do, everything else starts to ripple out. Next thing you know, next thing I know, my belly's going down. It's easy to keep that, keep it under control, you know? So with that said, I just want to drop this quick reminder to let you know, it's good to take that time to be alone. It's good to take that time to hear your thoughts, to feel your feelings, to deal with the crap you need to deal with. Whether it's you need to cry, whether it's you need to express, whether you need to tell your truth, whether you need to... Just look at it. Just acknowledge it for what it was, what it is, where you're at now. Whatever it is that needs to come up, it will come up when you take the time for your own self-intimacy. And when you don't, you rob yourself. For there's nothing more beautiful in this world than yourself, than the self. You should feel that way about yourself. You deserve to feel that way about yourself. I'm here to remind you to feel that way about yourself. So, just a loving message from your brother Zay. Peace and blessings. Like and subscribe if you're on 
the YouTube. If you're checking this out on IGTV, you know, feel free to follow. But I don't always get to drop the bigger, longer videos. Uh, like we had Merlin come through or Andrew Michael come through. Um, some really dope, profound messages be coming through. Those videos are longer, so you got to check them out on YouTube page. Um, Zay P, the I am. Otherwise, if you want to just catch me on IG, you know, I'll drop these videos every now and again where I'll just be sharing. Um, but I will start uploading more daily content here. I think maybe I'll start doing like daily reads or some horoscope reads and stuff using the cards and channeling intuitive information for those who need it. Um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it plays out. But I'm working out that little bit of a schedule. So like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Share out if the message resonates. Take what works for you. Leave what don't. If none of it works for you, that's fine. I'm not here to like, I'm not attached or invested in whether or not it fit all of these people. But if it resonates, try it out for yourself. Go through what you go through. See the healing that comes. See the growth that occurs. And thank yourself later. Peace and blessings.